Hi folks, as I'm out I thought I'd just take a little walk around to the middle tanks. These are the tanks that are here in case of fire. The one at the bottom, the tank at the bottom of the property and the two top tanks are used mainly for the garden. But these are reserved for if we have fire, which thankfully we haven't had so far. And let's hope it stays that way. But I planted a few things around. This is the, I planted these a year ago. Um, this is the um, Bodleia Globuso. I think that's what it is. It's the one with the orange balls. Now, and around here, what I've done, you've got to keep the area obviously around the tanks free for movement if it's necessary. But what I've done here around the edge, I've put off cuts of aloe vera, which I've just done recently from a mother plant. Uh, these will, I'm sure, come up as uh, this plant was flourishing, still small, but it had all the babies around it. So I took those away and put them along the edge. And of course they come up that lovely orange flower, which the birds like. And then what I did, I put in here three lavender even view. Again, lavender is the only thing that appears to be safe. It's not on the menu for Swampy. And another even view. And here's a few. Um, they were literally just little cuttings of aloe vera. Now, and I put some narcissus bulbs in here, which are, did come up in spring. And they're going over now. But uh, today I put in some lavender dendata, the French lavender. This is in shade at the moment, but it gets sun for most of the day once the sun comes round. But uh, I just thought it nice to have an edging round the water tanks. And again, it's something that hopefully they're left alone and allowed to grow. I'm saying this is a bit shaded at the moment, but once the sun comes past these trees, it gets the sun for most of the day. So just trying to improve things. And again, it feeds the birds and the bees and the aloe vera comes up and of course the lavender as well. But here you see all the pump, etc. For to activate the uh, water tanks, batteries and the fire holes. And, uh, and that's just looking up to the other two tanks and through to my little herb garden over here and the orchard which you've seen. But anyway, I just thought this would, is a pleasant and it would make it beautify this little bit of an area without impacting on the access to the tanks when and if necessary. So, as you can see, that's just along the driveway.